GBL E55BT headphones are fairly new to the market and they all seem to run into the same issue, where the earpads completely detach from the rest of the headphone. Though you might also see something like this, where one of the sides is still holding on by the wire. Today we will try reverting this problem. We will start from the side where the earpad isn't being held by the wire, because if the wire isn't damaged in any way, then all you have to do is glue the fallen piece back on. Best place to begin is removing any screws you see, and GBL being the caring company it is, used screws with triangle gaps just to make it harder for people who want to repair their headphones. Before you start pulling shit apart, there are some more hidden screws under the decorative plastic piece, which is glued on so you'll need something to pry it open with. Once all the screws are loose, you can try getting the corpus off, but it won't be easy because it's also glued on. Thanks GBL. Looks like we'll have to repair the broken wire as well, so the earpad has to be removed from the plastic piece thingy. Basically, if you are watching this, disassemble everything you can, because in the end you can just glue everything back together. Make place for a new wire and the old one, well, simply rip it off. You'll need a two-way wire, one end should be soldered onto the speaker, don't forget about which is plus and minus, and then pull it through the previously made hole and you can screw the corpus back on. If you feel like it, you can glue the earpad cushion back on. If someone happens to have more serious defects, then I'll show you how the wires are soldered by colors, so the repairs would go more smoothly for you. You'll need an extra wire, which you can easily get from this part here. Pull it off with some pliers. Cut off the damaged segment and clean the wire. Separate each vein for individual soldering. In total you should get 6 separate wirings, which will be connected with the other side. Cover all of the 12 pieces with tin for better results. Now you can take your time and carefully connect each wire individually by color. Separate each finished wire with tape. Once that is done, connect the new wires to the speaker. Now you can check if there is any sound. If everything seems good, glue the corpus back on the headphone band. You can use hot glue or super glue, whichever you prefer. You can even use double sided adhesive tape, that is if you have any. Wait for the glue to dry and then put all the pieces back together. But be careful you don't damage any wires because then you will have to repeat the whole process. Everything seems good, except this, the decorative plastic, glued back on to hide the screw holes. And that's all it took to repair these GBL wireless headphones. You can also follow this tutorial if you have E45BT headphones. Leave a comment on your results and how bad the GBL headphones truly are. Goodbye.